The song has a two flat on B flat and E flat. If it has a two flat, it will be either E flat major or if it's a minor, it will be G minor. Now, if you're looking at the beginning of the score, it starts with the G and G minor chord. So definitely this song is in minor, G minor. Now let's go over from the beginning. The first measure, left hand, starts with the G whole note. And then on bass clap, you will see RH of the 16th note. RH. That means even if it's in the bass clap, I want you to play with right hand instead of left hand. So instead of going like this, play with the right hand G, B flat, D. And then right after that, on treble clap, you will play with your left hand instead of right hand. It's left hand over. Do you see it on treble clap? LH over means left hand over the right hand. Go up. G, A, B. Okay? Now, at the first measure, if you see it, right hand chorus, play the same thing. One, two, three, four. Four times. But to make it easy, I will just block it and then we'll just keep holding it. Because right hand doesn't change, but left hand keep changing by crossing over. So this one actually make you confusing. So if you remember your position and melody lines on left hand, it's much easier to play it. So first, when you learn the song, block the right hand chord, just leave it and play left hand over right hand. Let's go from beginning. One, two, three, four. One. It says that three, you can play with the three, two, one, but I prefer four. If I start with the three, my thumb is too short, and then since I'm crossing, it's uncomfortable. So I will start with the four. Some people prefer three. Why? Because finger number four is weak finger. So it's uh, hard to, you know, uh, adjust it. So it's up to you. If you are okay, three, two, one. Or four two four three two. It really doesn't matter. Now let's go. F F G A. The next note, next measure. E flat, left hand and right hand plays E flat chord. E G B. And crossing over E flat. E F G. This one I would play with the three. So this is black key. And then D, right hand plays D, F, B flat. Left hand cross it over to F, B flat, F. And next measure, C, E, G, C. Right hand crossing over to E flat. Next to the measure, D, G, B flat. It's a G minor chord. D, G, D. And next to line, and measure 7, A, left hand, and right hand plays G, A, C sharp, which is actually A7 chord. And left hand crossing over it, E. D, left hand, right hand plays F sharp, E, C, F, G, A. Now, up to here, the first page, we'll go over again. Since the second page repeats the first page. Now, let's go from beginning once again. One, two, three, four. One, two.
here. Do you see it? It's much easier if we just leaving out the right hand, just block the chord. That's what we call blocking chord. Instead of playing separate, like a block, making a block and just keep holding it because it's the same note. Play it as it's written. Okay. Now moving on to second page. G again the same thing. G B B. It's the same. G D and 
natural next. And then EGC, EGB. So bottom stays down, just coming down. And E, half step down. And actually, four step. Half step is going down, but four step. So you go. So we will play measure 17th through measure uh, 20 5, 6, 7, which is, has chord only. Go. One. this part first practice your left hand only when you can play it really well on left hand add your right hand because right hand literally plays the same note as left hand but left right hand plays once in a while but left hand keep on playing it so and switching even hand position so it's better to practice left hand only first okay now if you look at the quota part that's the very last part. After up to here, you will go back to very beginning and come to to coda and then jump it to another coda part, which is very last two line. So I will just go over from the very last two line right away. G, G, B, D, G flat, G, B flat, D, right hand just literally plays G minor chord and then left hand. B flat and plays the same note G B D and then left hand D right hand plays C D F and plays chord another F sharp and then plays the same chord and left hand G right hand plays the same G so actually this one practice only this measure right hand plays the same chord left hand plays the chord so. practice couple of times and then exactly the same thing you will play octave higher and then another octave higher and then the chord G B flat E G so if I play it as it's written, two, okay, now, and then chord, after the rest, you have the same chord coming down, and then exactly the same chord coming down again, but you will see a little grace note. Eighth note with little slash on it, that means bum, 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 bum. So play it G only and then right away That's the chord you're supposed to play I will play it slow this time Doing the capo and go to coda In slow tempo Let's go One Two Three Four
and then just drop to make it soft. And gently drop left hand over the right hand. 